welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here this is going to be an update on my preemie baby cruz who was born at 29 weeks and he's been a NICU ever since he was born so today cruz is 61 days old i can't even believe it the last time i updated there had been a lot of changes Cruz really turned in his direction and started heading the right way as far as his oxygen goes and he's kind of in the same place. He did require a little bit more oxygen about two days after I posted that video and I thought oh no right after I got comfortable enough to update you guys on him getting better he started getting worse again but he didn't get nearly as bad as he was before and he turned around back down and as of today he is finally back down to around 21 22 percent on his oxygen and that is great news as far as his eyes and of course his lungs go last week as he kept doing better and staying consistent which he hasn't done in a really long time they said that they would wean him down to three liters so we're hoping to wean him down to two liters because at two liters that's when he can breastfeed normally and not have to have all of his feedings through his tube that's going in his nose so that's our goal and if he gets down to a place where he can eat then regardless if he's on oxygen or not we can bring our baby home of course we don't want to bring him home on oxygen but if he's going to hang out on oxygen for a while then let's go ahead and get him home so that's our goal so they said at the end of last week that we could wean him down to three liters over the weekend or that they would try to so over the weekend the doctors change so what happens is there are three different doctors that take care of crews on a rotating basis and sometimes they stay for two weeks sometimes they stay for a week and it was time for them to switch so on saturday one doctor left and a new doctor came and she hasn't been there for about four weeks everything that's happened in the last month was new to her so there weren't any changes over the weekend again which okay that's fine he wasn't super stable over the weekend to be honest with you guys in their mind he was doing great but for us we knew that he had been doing better earlier in the week last week so we were a little nervous to wean him down anyway so we let it go and we didn't have him wean in the last video i let you guys know that they tried to wean him down in three liters we weren't there and it didn't work out he was requiring more oxygen and the nurse knew that the oxygen was the main thing that we were concerned about not necessarily the flow because the flow is not harming him it's affecting my breastfeeding relationship with him and it's affecting him from being developmentally where we would like him to be. However, it's not affecting his quality of life long term like the percent of oxygen that he's on. So now it got time for us to try again. So the new doctor came in and she sat on him for a few days and then she was like, okay, let's go ahead and wean him down. So that was Monday when she decided that she was going to wean him down and then she realized that on Tuesday he was going to be 60 days old and when babies are 60 days old, they are due for their immunizations. And everyone said that if Cruz gets his immunizations, it's going to set him back. So they did not want to wean down his flow as he was due on Monday because then they would have to give him his immunizations and the thought was he would require more oxygen or his vitals would be affected. He'd go right back to where he was and we'd be set back again. So she spent a while convincing me of that because um, I wasn't necessarily on board. In my mind, I thought, let's hold off on the immunizations. Let's get him good on his oxygen. We'll give him the immunizations later. But they convinced me that there was going to be this big setback. So I allowed them to give him his immunizations. It was supposed to happen yesterday morning, but the pharmacy took a really long time to bring the immunizations that they ordered. And so he didn't receive them until shift change yesterday. Two nurses came in and they gave them his immunizations all at the same time. So it was just one and done which I really appreciated. He cried for a few minutes. He did experience a slight elevation of temperature. Last night when I took his temperature at eight, he was at 99.0, which isn't bad at all. And that was pretty much it as far as how he was affected from his immunizations. He did get up to 27 for just a few moments last night and then he was back down. As of today, um, when we left earlier, we're gonna go back in a little bit. He's on 22% and he probably could have gone down to 21%, which is room air. The doctor said that she still did not want to wean down his flow of oxygen today because it hasn't been 24 hours since his immunizations, and so they're not gonna do it until tomorrow. So 
So I'm gonna speak to them tonight and let them know to tell the doctor that I do not want her to wean down the flow until I'm there. I wanna be able to see for myself how he does. I want to be given the chance to hold him because when we hold him, he typically does better on his oxygen saturation and I wanna do everything I can. I mean, if I have to sit there and live there with a pump and only walk out the moments they make me for shift change and walk right back in after that, um, so be it. Just so I know if it doesn't work out, I did everything I could do to have him successful on that new flow. So unless something unexpected happens, that's the plan that he'll go down on his flow to three liters. And then the thought is if he tolerates that for a few days, we'll go down to two liters and then we can begin feeding him. This is of course in the best case scenario. Truth be told, in my heart, I am not 100% convinced that this whole plan is going to go over as easily as we hope that it goes over. I don't know if he's ready. It still scares me um, because a few days ago he was kind of having a little bit of the tendencies that he was having right before his previous setback. So I am a little worried, but I'm being optimistic. We are praying and we're seeing great things from him. Just today, he was so much better than he was yesterday. He's still weaning off his steroids and he will be finishing those in a few days. We may decide to put him back on a diuretic again, even though it didn't really work last time, but we just wanna do everything we can to help him. We're just kind of stuck in a week without changes. And um, a week without changes is tough because that's a week of my baby's life, again, where he's not with us. Of course, that is part of NICU life, but we've been in NICU for 61 days and it's becoming very hard right now because my summer is dwindling away very, very quickly. Yesterday was the first day that I had to go back to work for a meeting. I was in a meeting for several hours. It really made everything more real. And so yesterday, whenever I learned that yet again, we weren't gonna be doing any changes, I just start feeling panicked because I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it really is gonna happen where I'm gonna have to go back to work and I'm gonna have to teach kids and my baby is gonna be in the hospital. And then at some point he's finally gonna get to eat. And at that point, it's gonna be the beginning of the school year, but of course I have to be there for my baby so that I can breastfeed him every three hours or every two hours or whenever he requires that so that they'll release him because they will not release him from the hospital without him showing that he can handle his feeds. So if you guys want to pray for us, I would love it if you could pray for his lungs and pray for him to continue to get weaned off his oxygen so that we can get to a place where we can bring our baby home. It's always hard to be a working mom, but to be a working mom with other kids and have a NICU baby is incredibly difficult, especially when you're a teacher and you have to be on and happy and 100% engaged with the children that are in front of you. And my heart is just gonna be in two different places. At the same time, if it does happen where Cruz is still in the hospital when the school year starts, which it's seeming very likely right now that that could be the case. So we're hoping that it's not and we hope that everything progresses and it would just feel like an absolute miracle for him to come home before the school year starts and that's what we're hoping for. I did do a compilation video of the first 30 days of Cruz in NICU and so I am gonna insert the most recent 30 days compilation clips into this video as well so you can see how Cruz has grown and how he is progressing. If you guys are interested in that, stay tuned and you'll see our boy here.
He's finally growing into his creamy clothes. They're not so big on him anymore. Look at you, Cruz. Good morning, Angel. Did you just wake up? Are you smiling, baby boy? Today's day 50 for Cruz in the NICU. 50 days, can you believe that? No. It's crazy. And he's six pounds now. So big. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions for us or suggestions, leave them in the comments below like you guys always do. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love if you click the subscribe button. Right now, of course, my family could use all the support we could possibly get. And you liking this video and subscribing to our channel is one way where you can easily support our family. And I appreciate it more than you know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.